Hello, I'm Pamela, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Auckland, New Zealand. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up an Amazon Simple Storage event notification to invoke an AWS Lambda function that is in another AWS account. Let's get started. To set up your Amazon S3 bucket to invoke a Lambda function in another account, you must first update your Lambda function's resource-based policy to grant invoke permission to Amazon S3. Then, create the Amazon S3 event notification that invokes your Lambda function. Before you begin, make sure that the Lambda function is in the same AWS region as your S3 bucket. Also, Record the S3 bucket's ARN in this format, ARN colon AWS colon S3 colon 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 bucket name. First, let's update the Lambda function's resource-based policy to allow Amazon S3 to invoke the function. After you sign in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Lambda console. Choose the Lambda function you want Amazon S3 to invoke. If you don't have an existing Lambda function, then choose Create Function to create a new Lambda function. Then name the function. Select the runtime and then choose Create Function. Note the Lambda function's ARN to use later. After you create the function, modify the code to print the event details so that you can confirm that the S3 bucket invokes the Lambda function later on. Finally, choose Deploy for changes to take effect. Now, let's update the function's resource-based policy. On the Configuration tab of the Lambda console, choose Permission. In the Resource-based Policy Statements pane, choose Add Permission. Choose AWS Service, and then choose S3 from the Service dropdown. For Statement ID, enter a unique ID, such as My Custom S3 Lambda Trigger 001. For Source Account, enter the account ID that hosts your S3 bucket. For Source ARN, enter the S3 bucket's ARN. For Action, choose Lambda Invoke Function. Finally, choose Save. Now, let's create the S3 event notification to invoke the Lambda function. Open the Amazon S3 console. Choose your bucket name. Choose the Properties tab, then scroll down to Event Notifications and choose Create Event Notification. For Event Name, provide a name for this notification. Under Filter, you can optionally add prefix and suffix filtering rule. For event types, select all the object created events. For destination, choose Lambda function. For specify Lambda function, enter the Lambda function's ARN. Finally, choose Save Changes. To test whether your bucket will invoke the Lambda function in the other account when you create a new object, you can upload a new object to your S3 bucket. Next, Check the Lambda function's monitoring metrics and logs to confirm that the bucket successfully invoked the Lambda function. Navigate back to the Lambda function, choose the Monitor tab, and then choose View CloudWatch Logs. From the Amazon CloudWatch Logs, you can see the event source, bucket name, and the object details in the output, which means that the S3 event notification successfully invoked the Lambda function. Now you know how to set up an Amazon S3 event notification to invoke a Lambda function in another account. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.